Have you heard about AGI? If this is your first time hearing this acronym, let's catch you up. But let's start with some background info on AI first. Artificial intelligence continues to grow from strength to strength, and this year we've seen some pretty extensive advancements with the release of ChatGPT5 and other cutting-edge AI models. Within the Salesforce space, AgentForce is slowly being adopted at the enterprise level, as Salesforce continues to enhance the tool, but the potential next frontier is far more daunting. Enter AGI. For those who don't know, AGI refers to AI systems capable of human-level cognitive abilities. Think Jarvis from Iron Man, Samantha from Her, Data from Star Trek. It's a level of technology that can reason, learn, and act on par, or even beyond humans. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff recently stated that we are far from achieving true artificial general intelligence. This contrasts with varying industry forecasts, where some experts predict AGI could emerge in a few years, while others believe it is still decades away. Appearing on the VC20 podcast, Mark Benioff addressed the topics of AGIs in regards to Amazon's AGI head. David Laun, the head of this, has stated that fewer than a thousand people worldwide qualify as elite AI talent, prompting the Salesforce CEO to call this a complete oxymoron. He said, you're talking to someone who is extremely suspect if anyone uses those initials. I think that we've all been sold a lot of hypnosis around what's about to happen with AI. It's not that it couldn't happen one day, but it's not the state of technology today. Essentially, a lot of work has been done to get current LLMs, large language models, to where they currently are, and their accomplishments shouldn't be overlooked, but they're still not anywhere near human or intelligent enough to be human. He claimed that there is currently some level of hypnosis around AI and what is currently possible. At present, AI should be acknowledged for the uses that it has, but it's important not to glaze over its plethora of issues. The important thing to realize here is that Mark Benioff evidently has the belief that AGI will be here at some point, largely tied to his enthusiasm for AI. However, there is no denying that AGI is somewhat of a futuristic concept. After all, do we even want one? Before we go any further, now is a great opportunity to chat about this video sponsor, Client, and for a reason that will affect many of you watching. Visibility and management are more important than ever at the moment, especially as both security risks and mounting costs continues to cause many problems for many orgs, even more so if you're implementing AI. That's why Client PSA brings delivery, time tracking, and invoicing into Salesforce, and everything lives there. No more switching systems. You can also cut your operating costs this way, especially as Salesforce licenses are included in the pricing. Interested? Find out how to get started today in no time at all at salesforcebend.com slash client. That's client with a K. Okay, back to the video. If you were to ask 10 experts when AGI is expected to arrive, it's very likely you'll receive 10 different answers. Prediction markets like Metacoolers currently expect weekly general AI by the late 2020s, with stronger forms emerging by the early 2030s. On the other hand, large surveys of machine learning researchers are more cautious, giving a 50% chance of human-level AI by the 2040s. Besides Benioff, a number of high-level CEOs have also shared their predictions over the last couple of years. Demise Habesis of Google DeepMind puts AGI at 5 to 10 years away, while Dario Amodi, Anthropic, has suggested as early as 2026. Sam Altman believes we're a few thousand days away, and Jensen Huang from NVIDIA points to around five years' time. It's important to consider that although it is difficult to determine exactly when AGI comes into fruition, it's very likely that it's already in the works. Salesforce, for one, has been working on their AI products and research long before any of the news of them became public or AI had even entered the mainstream market, and this practice certainly isn't unique. Not only that, but AGI is currently being tied to the age-old belief of the tech gap between consumers and government slash leaders, especially as something as powerful as an AGI is likely to fall under something called the Invention Secrecy Act. So, by the time anyone can see or get their hands on an AGI, it will be interesting to see how it is delivered. Whether AGI is actually 5 or 50 years away, the current spread of predictions tells us more about human bias than actual ca machine capability. 
Despite some much needed skepticism around it, there's no arguing that many high profile companies are working towards achieving it. It's in similar vein to the space race, if you think about it like that. Some see it as an inevitable aspiration, while others are noticing the reckless and dangerous side of pushing for such a technology so quickly. Like the space race, AGI is a lot less about the finish line and more about the breakthroughs these companies are making along the way. And these breakthroughs are quickly shaping how businesses, including Salesforce, are deploying AI in the present. Even CEO Mark Benioff, who is known for being extremely pro-AI, holds conservative views on the matter, indicating that we should perhaps be mindful of our expectations for AGI, helping to develop our existing AI into the best tool it can be. How do you feel about all this though? Let us know in the comments below.